This video is intended as a brief introduction to Padlet. So to begin, we go to www.padlet.com and in the home screen, we can see that uh, you can log in in the top corner here if you already have an account. Um, if not, you can sign up or you can choose to open a wall without creating an account. And that's what I'm going to do for now, just to show you how we create a wall. So here is a basic wall and the first thing we do is we go to modify wall here. Now we have a number of options for how we can modify a wall. Um, so first off we might need to give our wall a name and a description. And you can choose to have uh, an icon, as you can see it pops up here, that goes alongside it. And you can also uh, add your own, you can, you can upload your own icon to go with that, that one will do for now. And next you choose your wallpaper, so your wallpaper is essentially your background. Um, the program already has quite a few uh, different backgrounds, as you can see, that you can choose from. It depends on the, the purpose that you've created the board for. Um, but I would advise that you stick to something like corkboard here where it's fairly easy, it's not too busy in the background. Um, some other designs, uh, for example, kaleidoscope, um, can be quite distracting. Um, and especially when you've got writing on top of that, it might be quite hard to engage with it if you've got too busy a background. Um, but again, here you can also add your own backgrounds if you have something particular in mind. So let's choose, there we go. Uh, so next we go to layout. Um, and there are three options for layout. And what layout means is uh, when people add a new post, um, do you want them to be organized in any way? So if you leave it as checked at free form as it is at the moment, that means that posts will just appear where people have put them. If you stream them, it means that it will line them up. Um, and if you grid them, it means that they will uh, organize them into uh, a grid style. So once you've decided on the, the, the look and the appearance of your Padlet wall, uh, we can then think about privacy. Um, so if you want your wall to be entirely private and so that only people who you've sent a link to can access it, you would select the private option. If you wanted to make it password protected, you can. You can also have a hidden link, which means that it is a public wall, um, but it's hidden from Google so other people can't accidentally stumble across it. Or you can have a totally public wall. Um, to have a private wall and to add other people by email, you do need to have an account. Um, you can also choose whether or not you wish to moderate posts. Again, you would need an account for that to work. Um, and that just means that before a post is made public for other people to see, you get to decide if it's appropriate or not. Uh, for notifications, this is to tell you if, new peop if people have added uh, new posts to the wall. Again, you need an account. And for the address, uh, if you don't have an account, you're stuck with whatever address they give you. Um, however, if you, if you do have an account, um, it means that you can edit just the last section, as you can see here. You can edit that so you can make it into something that's relevant to what the board is for. Um, and then finally, if you decide that you no longer want your wall, uh, you can choose to delete it. Up here, we have the help menu. We also have information about your board. Um, and you have sharing and export options, and these are particularly interesting. Um, so you can share your wall with other people on other social media platforms. You can export it as a PDF or as an Excel file or as an image. Um, and you can also email it to other people and you can embed it into uh, WordPress or other websites. Um, and a particular favourite of mine, you can turn it into a QR code to share it that way too. Um, and that's everything. Um, all you need to do from here is start to add your posts by which all you do is double click on the wall, type a title, and type some content. Um, and you can add in links, you can add in images, uh, and you can upload files into there too. Um, and it's really as simple as that. 